Well, good morning. This is Miami Valley View. It is a Dayton public affairs program brought to you by iHeartMedia Dayton. I'm your host, Dave Alexander. And joining me this morning, Montgomery County Commissioner Judy Dodge. Good morning, mm-hmm. Judy. Well, good morning to you. And it's a beautiful day. Yeah, Thank good you. to see you again, as always. Thanks for Thank joining you. us. Of and course. also, Ashley Mack, Community <clears throat> Initiatives Manager. So, uh, hi, good morning. Hi, how are you? Um, unfortunately, we are here to talk about um, food insecurity, mm-hmm, which is mm-hmm. just, it's the topic never goes away. It never goes away. And uh, so we're here and we're trying to help, which is which is a very nice thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we're doing so through Ching Montgomery County, mm-hmm, which mm-hmm. is the local fo- food system, which I think is pretty event happening uh, this coming mm-hmm. um, at the Levitt Pavilion. At least, so exactly. give us an idea of what, what, what we can expect. You know, basically, since, for, oh gosh, we've had the food st- yeah. Started the food summit talking about food insecurity in 13, 14 years straight. Yeah. Thought, you know what, let's do something and to get the citizens really. In. So, Levitt, just can, you can come here. Hmm. So, we're going to have yeah. and that's Saturday, right. a.m. until 2 p.m. And there's it free. Yeah. We're at the Rival Garage. Oh, nice. Are encouraging families to bring their thing. We're going to have cooking days, nice. uh, family fun games. Um, a composting. This is really going to be fascinating. People are going to really learn see something. what's learn sure. something exactly. Also, food champions award ceremony. We've got some great people in our community community that have sort of, you know, gone above and beyond their call of duty. So we're going to award them with nice uh, a nice event. Um, and there's going to be all kinds of raffle tickets, including including Dayton Dragon tickets. Hey, nice. Hey, won't that be great? As well as <laughs> yeah. crockpots. There's going to be a kids' corner, a resource fair, and, of course, food trucks. Yeah. Well, good. Yeah. yeah so yeah. we're really going to have a lot of fun. And that's this Saturday. It's this Saturday at Levitt, at Levitt 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Sounds like a good time. It sounds like people are going to learn some stuff. Uh, exactly. Ashley, give us an idea, you know, I know this is this has been an issue. Like uh, we've been, Judy has said that you know they've been talking about food initiatives and insecurities for many years now. So you know what what brought this on? What 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 are we doing here in Montgomery County? Yeah, I mean you're right. Food insecurity and food access have always been an issue here in Montgomery County. Yeah. Uh, but we still see even even though there's so many amazing efforts going on um, from different organizations uh, as well as you know the county itself yeah. doing uh, different efforts to really combat food insecurity, Uh, but we still see quite a few number of individuals uh, that need to receive SNAP food assistance. Actually, it's one in six. Uh, No kidding. That's just in Montgomery County? Just in Montgomery County. Yeah. So that's 80,000 residents. Um, And it's unfortunate, right? Because we know the importance of healthy food. Uh, All of us deserve healthy food, yet there are 80,000 of yeah. us that um, in in some aspect or another cannot necessarily access it as easily, nor are they able to afford it. And yeah. so it's a food desert. Is that what a, is that one of the terms that we yes. That yes. People use that yeah. it's, it's hard to find fresh food exactly. in certain areas? Mm-hmm. That, that mm-hmm. number is so high. I know. I, I mean, know. that is an incredibly high number. 80,000 people. in Mon- This is Montgomery County we're talking right. about. I know. Man. I know. Well, and you know, one of the problems is is salaries. A lot of these people are working, yeah. but they aren't making enough to pay rent, sure. to pay gas, to go somewhere, yeah. and, and, that, and for food. Yeah, and it that, is. That you have to sacrifice exactly. food. Exactly. Or at least good healthy food right. um and, and because of your what you're being paid that, that's and also the food bank you know yeah. thank god for the food bank and yeah. they're they're saying that they have spent 33 percent more on food just in the dayton area than just a, from just a few years ago wow so, so it's getting worse 33 percent I know. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I, we, I think after we the pandemic hit, yeah. uh, we saw uh, quite an increase of people accessing food through the food bank yeah. in their pantries. Yeah. Um, and, and then also just not being able to easily access healthy food. Sure. Uh, like Judy mm-hmm. said, that we see... Uh, I mean, people aren't able to afford gas right. and to get yeah. to these places outside of, you know, their like two mile radius. Yeah. And so if they don't have transportation to get healthy food, uh, it makes the struggle that much more difficult. Yeah. And so it's easier to just go to a convenience store uh, to pick up whatever right. is right there sure. rather than, you exactly. know. Yeah. And then public health, that adds to all sorts of illnesses, mm-hmm. um, obesity, yeah. um, high blood pressure, 
and, you know, just problems for everyone. And so that's another major, major concern, and that is that, you know, they've got to eat healthy yeah. food. And, you know, it's great to go to the dollar store and get candy and chips and sure. you know, stuff like that, but that's not that's not nutritious. Right. That's not fresh produce exactly that kind of stuff exactly so what so, are we what are we doing to help i mean what 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 can we do as the community listening in for this public affairs program what are some of the things we can do to help I and mean, what are you guys doing that you know we can help you right well exactly. we're we're supporting a lot of initiatives that are in the okay. works uh so just to highlight one thing that's going to be happening this fall is the opening of uh, the the homeful, homeful. Uh, mm-hmm, grocery and marketplace mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that's that's actually scheduled to open this fall. Nice, um, and it's it's just a great example of how the community has come together. Okay, uh, here I think it's off of Gettysburg. Yes, um, and and it's going to be a a completely full grocery store, um, and there will be transportation to and from that, so it's nice. easily accessible, and it's an amazing space. Yeah. So we strongly encourage individuals to get out there and check it out uh, right. once it is open. Uh, but that just highlights, you know, one initiative. Yeah. Again, we're holding the Nursery Montgomery County event to bring different organizations like Homeful, the yeah. Food Bank, um, Access to Access, so you have a lot of vendors and a lot of people that are helping out trying to get this, you know, food insecurity thing, you know, people learning like, hey, guess what? We have this here. Absolutely. You know, this is where you can go. This exactly. is what's coming. Yeah. We want you to be aware of these opportunities for you uh, that are out there right now. That's awesome. Exactly. And, you know, and, and also there's, you know, In God's Grace, which is there on Dixie yeah. and, you know, free food for individuals, healthy food. And, um, it, you know, that's just a great thing. Gem City Market on Lower Salem Avenue. My mm-hmm. gosh, people coming, you know, back and forth to yeah. work from work. And in that neighborhood there, I think it's Superior and Salem. You know, that is just a godsend to that whole neighborhood yeah. and um, just to everyone. And if anybody gets a chance to go to Gem City Market, you're going to be so sure. surprised. It's just so great yeah. there. And Homeful, the other thing I wanted to say about Homeful, not only is it going to be a grocery store, they're going to have a of Zips Pharmacy is going to be there. Oh, They're going to have social workers. Yeah. So, you know, people can come with all sorts of, um, you know, problems or anything else that they talk to people about. And, you know, I was at the ground baking last year. It's moving along and it's going to be open. Just so excited about yeah. Homeful. It's an unbelievable food desert. Right. Yeah, it's Germantown and Getty's area. So yeah. we're, you know, we're, we're steps forward, <laughs> uh, but out. And yes. that's what nourishing is really all about coming up. Event. This Sunday, um, this Saturday. It is at the Levitt Pavilion from 10 a.m. And I had just asked, and I'm going I'm to ask it again, uh, but in the community, you know, they want to help the people out there that are going to want to help. How can they do? Are you, do you guys have volunteer donations? Mm-hmm. Uh, what can they all of it? All of it. That's good. So if you can't, <laughs> then you can donate your time. Your boss, me. There are people that like go out and do um, uh, donations, and yeah. they would volunteers come and help. Yeah. You know, give as they drive up in their cars. Yeah. Same thing with a lot of them. Right. And we're just naming just a lot in our area. One hundred percent. Throw this out. Yeah. The first five is at the <laughs> Levitt this Saturday. Yes. Free popsicles. From C's Ice Pops. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I, yeah. Know. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah, I know. That's so. outstanding. Yeah, yeah and it's free. Great. People. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're also going to have items from two other vendors, um, Collab, and so there'll be some other free food items are in attendance uh, to try uh, and just really get the word out um, what some of these, these um, but, you know, you say to more can, yeah. can we do as... Right. Sure. Honestly, come to this event. Time to learn about our food system. Our food system, I think a lot of people are like, I don't know what that means. Right. And honestly, what it manding what we have right here yeah. from the number of people who how they um, dispose wanted food, yeah. uh, how we take care of our land because we available right here that we grow county. Uh, so coming and under the food system is and then aware of the resources. So even sure. if you don't necessarily need those resources, yeah. you right. might need those resources. Absolutely. If you coming up to the Nourishing um, event and you saw new vendors that are there, those who are helping on, um, and ask them. 100%. And what I like is that you're ever so closer to the beginning of school. And that means service a lot of students. Yes. A lot. And, you know, all of these places, your help. 
So if you're a less school student, let's say, that's going to need service school year, this is a great place to go out. Who needs help? When you can. And it's, it's just an easy stop. I mean, it's going to be a 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Yes. It's New County. Celebration of the local food. We'll see some of the great things happening. This great food initiative. And uh, I mean, 80,000 people. County alone. Think about that. 80. Which number? And what? that's just one cow. Yeah. I know. Can you imagine the larger Cleveland? Oh, my gosh. And 80, I think. City of Kettering, I think, is 758,000. So that's more. More yeah. than just the city of Kettering. Yeah, that, it, it, that's um, mm. scary. It, it, it is scary, and I'm glad we're helping. I'm glad you guys are doing um, mm-hmm. doing some great things. Uh, so uh, before we get out of here, we have a few minutes left. We got a okay. great event happening this Saturday. What what what's coming in the future? Oh, you know, I think this is just the beginning, quite yeah. oh, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this this is, like Judy mentioned, this is kind of uh, the next step from what we were doing previously, which was the Food Summit. Yeah. Uh, this is our pilot year to to see Great. how the community really responds to yeah, how they react to it. Yeah. And, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. And so I think it's just going to continue to to grow. Yeah. Uh, we also have the Montgomery County Food Equity Coalition, who's okay. a mm-hmm. major part of this. And Judy's been a huge champion of that mm-hmm. uh, over the years. And we're really going to be focusing on how we can continue to support the organizations here in Montgomery County and, and the work that they do, but then also look at policies that can sure. uh, really help to bolster the work that they're doing in the community. Yeah, if anyone goes through there and says, oh, you know, I have an idea, come and talk to us. You know, that's what they're for. So, yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah. All right, so it is this Saturday. Once again, yes. give me the details if you would. Yeah, it's this Saturday, August 10th, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Levitt Pavilion. Uh, and like Judy mentioned, free parking available mm-hmm, uh, at right. free admission. Mm-hmm. Not to mention, another thing that's super exciting, we will transportation from to the 2nd Street Market, able to access all yeah. uh, farm, yeah. farmers yeah. And, and then back. So oh. we'll have free transit by the RTA, which was a huge blessing. So come and make a day of it. It'll be really thought of cool. Everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, so in the future, I know this is a great uh, volunteers. Um, in the future, uh, you know, they can't make it, let's say, this week. Can they go to a website maybe and check how to, how to volunteer or how to donate? Uh, what what I'd say is definitely mcohio.org. Uh, we're going to have some information on there as far as what uh, okay. the food system is and to get more familiar with it and then uh you'll have our contact information and we'll be able to help connect great. you out yeah. to those agencies there i mean people are out there they want to help yeah and uh so yes. that's great thank you yep that's all one right. thing about montgomery county yep. you know we just have wonderful yep. people here that do want to help and they understand well, so. let's give some help this is great looking up this saturday judy ashley thanks for joining in this morning oh, thank, thank you, you.